So the lecture is being recorded. Um, this session will calculate ordinary simple annuity for the term N and for the annual interest. Okay. Remember in the previous lectures, we calculated the present value of ordinary annuity. We calculated the future value of ordinary annuity. We also calculated the payment PMT. Okay. And remember we have five, five items on ordinary annuities. Those are uh, future value FV, present value PV, payment PMT, interest rate IY, and term N. We already did three. So today we are going to do the last two term N and interest. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to share my computer. Can someone confirm you can see my computer? If you can speak up, thank you. I heard the, thank you, thanks, okay. Uh, all right, so um, I'm actually going to review what we did in the previous lecture. We start with review, okay? Um, so we are going to uh, look up at uh, this first question here in front of you, okay? This first question, okay? Just as a review, pick a question. So I'm going to make sure you have your calculator ready, okay? So this is my calculator right here, okay? So I'm just going to adjust my windows. Okay. All right. So uh, this question. Okay. To purchase a special data for his grant for the last three years, uh, JJ Morrison has made a payment of $92 at the end of each month into a savings account, earning interest 5.47% compounded monthly. If he leaves the money in the saving account for another four years at 5.53%, compounded quarterly, how much will be have saved to buy the data? So this is the question, okay. Uh, so let's analyze what numbers are given. What is the question we are asked to solve, okay? Um, so this person make a payment every month every month for how long can anyone jump in the person make up 92 dollars for how long for three years the person make payment every month for three years each month pmt is 92 dollars this person okay this is pmt payment okay, pmt so after three years, there is a future value at this point. And this person leaves this money in saving account for another four years. So from here, maybe I'll try to use different color. Okay. Um, so from here to here, another four years. And in this four year, the interest is 5.53 compounded quarterly, compounded quarterly. And in the first three years, the interest is 5.47 compounded monthly. See, I use different color, okay? So 
red color represents the first three years. Okay, that is the interest. And this uh, green color, or you see another color, green color, this is for the four years. Okay, so what is the question asked here? The question asks you, what is the question? Can anyone help us? What you are asked to solve in this question? Anyone? Okay, the question says, read the question. How much will he have saved? Okay, so the question, thank you, thank you. So the question asks you, what is this value here after the second, after the four years? No, first after three years, he made payment every month. Then he leave the money in account for four years. The question is asked at the end of seven years, total seven years, what is the money here at the end of seven years? Is that clear? Now, in the first three years, from here, the first three years, this is an ordinary, simple annuity problem. Ordinary, simple annuity. Why ordinary? Because the payment is made at the end. The end means ordinary, ordinary, okay? Ordinary. Uh, simple means interest compounding period per year, interest is compounded monthly, equal to number of payment per year. So you make payment every month, interest is compounded every month. That means simple. Any questions? What is simple? Means interest compounding period per year, CY, CY equal to PY. PY represent uh, payment per year. Every year you make 12 payment. Every year you convert the interest 12 times. So CY equal to PY equal to 12. That is simple. So the first three years is the ordinary simple annuity problem. So we need to solve what is the future value at the end of first three years. What is the future value for the annuity? That is the step one. Figure out the future value for the annuity after three years, step one. And now this future value at the end of three years becomes present value of those following four years. So if you have a present value here, this four year is the compound interest problem. So you need to solve the future value for this compound interest. This is a math 1008 problem in your last semester. Okay, so we need to do two steps in this question. Okay. Uh, before I go further, I will check if uh, you have any questions, just please ask any questions. You can um, ask questions with <coughs> speak up, or you can type your question. I'm checking the, um, oh, this is a, so, okay, questions. Okay, do you finish on this kind of problem? Oh, do you find, where do you find this kind of problem? Uh, how? Uh, um, no, no questions. Okay, I will try to should we use calculator and Excel. Okay, I will introduce both answer. The question is, should we use calculator or Excel? I will use both in this example. Okay, I will use both. Uh, uh, how I'm going to do it now? How to solve this problem? I am going to do it now. Right now, I just analyze the question. I haven't solved anything yet. I just say this can need two steps. Step one, find the future value of 
annuity, ordinary annuity at the end of three years, that is step one. Step two, found the future value of the compound interest after four years. That is what I am doing now. I haven't do the specific calculation. Okay, so I give you one more chance. Any other questions because I am in chat room. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Marcin, for asking the question. Um, just to check if I missed any questions. If you ask, uh, yes, yes, okay, okay. Please make sure that you have your calculator on hand. Yes. Uh, again, please make sure you have your calculator on hand. I'm going to use introduce calculator method. Then I'm going to use Excel method. You are not uh, forced to ask to use this method or that method. You decide what works best for you. I don't specify you must use calculator. I don't specify you must use Excel. Choose whatever method. Some people maybe just choose paper and pen. That's fine, use formula. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start with calculation. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So uh, this is the the question. So step one, I am going to to do the future value of simple ordinary simple annuity. This is my step one. What is the future value here, see my mouse, what is the future value at the end of three years, okay? Now I'm going to use my calculator. Does anyone see my calculator? So I try to, thank you, thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, the very first step is to set up your calculator, okay? Uh, so you pick a second, quit, when you begin to calculate, click second quit, second quit, okay? And now um, the question asks you to round the final answer to nearest cent. Uh, as a sum of rule, usually when you do calculation, you keep four, four decimal places. Okay, and when you write down your final answer, you read requirement. The requirement asks you two decimals or three decimals or four decimals. You have to read instructions carefully. So now it is four decimals. Okay, in case you want to change your decimal to two places, just in case you do this, watch, okay. Uh, second, second format, see. You want to change two, you type in number two. And then you click enter key. Okay, and then second quit. See, it becomes two decimals. Okay, so now I want to change back to four decimals. Okay, how do you change to four decimals? I encourage you to follow my steps on your calculator right now. If you're stuck, you can ask questions. Okay, so I'm going to change to four decimals. I'm going to click second format. It is here. See where is my mouse? Second format. You have DEC, then press number four. Okay, so you have DEC equal to four. And do not forget enter. E N T E R, enter. And now second quit. See, it becomes four decimals, okay? So any questions for change decimal places on your calculator? Thank you. Okay, now I am going to set up PY and CY. So PY, PY represent number of payment per year. Okay, you make the payment every month, every year, how many payment you make? 12. So PY equal to 12. Okay. Now I'm going to set up CY. CY is a compounding period per year. Interest compounding period per year. The interest 5. 
0.47% compounded monthly. So every year you convert 12 times. Compounded monthly means CY equal to 12. So now I'm going to set up a uh, calculator. Okay. By the way, sometimes I use computer and calculator interchangeably. Okay. So I actually mean calculator when I use computer. <coughs> Uh, all right, so PY, how do I set up PY equal to 12? You do this, see, quick second button, quick second. And then this is PY button, this one here. So you see PY equal to 12, it is already 12. If it is not 12, you have to type in 12. And then press enter. Okay, so you got PY equal to 12, and then use this down arrow key, down arrow key, down arrow key. You see CY equal to 12, that's okay. Press enter key. Okay, and now second quit, second quit. Okay, so you set up PY equal to 12. CY equal to 12, just on safe side, you double check, okay? So how do you double check? You click second, second, and then you click PY. See, it is 12. And then you use down arrow key to see CY, 12. So you double checked, okay? So now you click second, quit, okay? And also you need double check if on top right corner, you do not have anything here. If you see BGN, that is wrong. Okay, guys, if you have BGN, you are wrong. How do you eliminate this BGN? Suppose you have BGN, okay. Uh, I have to put, um, so you do this, I will show you because this is important, okay? Some students have the BGN. So you do second, BGN, BGN is here, PMT function is also BGN. Second, begin, okay? Um, second, begin, and then quick second, search, second, search, and then second, quit, you see? My computer on top right corner, you have a begin. Once you have this begin, how do you eliminate? You repeat the procedure I have just did. Second, begin. Second, search. Second, quit. This begin will be disappeared. Now I'm going to disappear. Let this begin disappear. Okay, so I'm going to click second, Begin, second, begin, second, set, second, quit. See, the begin disappeared. Okay, so so far, I just set up my calculator to make sure it is at the end mode. If you do not see begin, it is end. By default, it is end mode. I also set up the decimal places to four, and then I set up PY equal to 12, CY equal to 12. So the calculator is ready. You just enter the number. Remember on your calculator button, how many buttons here? The five important buttons, five. This one is N, okay, N, and then interest I, Y, interest I, Y, and then PV, present value. And then PMT, PMT here, FV. When you use calculator, you must enter four items. You must enter four, otherwise you'll get wrong answer. If you're lucky, you may correct. Okay, but on safe side, you must enter four numbers. Okay, so let's enter the four numbers. Uh, there, there is no sequence for those four numbers. So, <coughs> You are going to enter this. The first number I see is 92. This is payment. Okay. So you are going to enter 92. 
uh, usually payment is a negative number. So you press negative number sign here. This is negative number. Okay. Press this button. Okay. And then press the PMT button. Okay. So now you have a PMT entered. Okay. And then uh, next number I see is a is 5.47 that is the interest so you enter 5.47 this is the interest here i y you do not enter percentage okay so i y that is the interest okay uh, and also i know it is a three years see here the annuity is for three years this number here, three years. Okay. So three years equal to how many months? One year is 12 months. Three years is 36 months. So you enter 36. That is your N. N equal to 36. So, so far, we just entered three items. We entered the PMT, negative 92. We enter the interest IY 5.47. We enter the N36. I said you need four. What is the other number we need to enter? We must need four numbers. Present value zero. Excellent. Thank you. So you enter zero as a PV. This is as a precaution to clear any previous uh, entries now we entered four numbers okay so i'm going to calculate fv so compute compute fv here okay so i have that number i'm going to write down that number because i will need that number okay uh, so i'm going to write down i have a quick here and then type. So this P future value in step one, we finish step one, future value of annuity after three years. So um, that number is our typing here. Oops. Um, my type. Uh, 3,000, oops, do it. Um, so I'm just going to write down the number. So the number is 3,590 dollar, $90, point 3785. Three seven eight five. So that is the future value for the annuity. Okay. And then <clears throat> I'm going to um, store, save this number in computer because later on this future value becomes the present value of uh, a compound interest. I'm going to do step two. Maybe I do not want to confuse you. Uh, I do not want to use a store recall. Maybe just later on I'll type in this number. So anyway, we finished step one, calculated the future value of annuity. Any questions before we do step two? Okay, <clears throat> so we calculate this one. Um, no, step two here. If you have a present value, $3,590. The question is, what is the future value after four years? Um, the interest is compounded quarterly. See, interest is compounded quarterly. I heard the chart. <clears throat> uh, thank you for your question. I have the question is why 36 for Natasha? Thank you so much for this question. The question was why 36 for N? Because the annuity is for three years, annuity for three years. 
each year you make 12 payment because you make payment every month. How many months in three years? 36. Okay, so 12 times 3 equal to 36. Is that clear, Natash? One year has 12 months. How many months in three years? Other students, please, please feel free to ask questions. Okay. Um, so 36, let's go back to my one note. <coughs> so we did the future value. Now step two, what is the future value after these four years? Okay. And in step two, <coughs> uh, I'm going to use a formula later. Right now, I'm just purely rely on the calculator. Okay. As you can see, if you use calculator, you don't care about the formula. Okay. Uh, where is my one note? Okay. <clears throat> uh, so now the question I repeat step two. Step two is when you have a present value $3,590, after four years, what is the future value? That is step two. Okay. So I'm going to uh, clear up my computer. Second, quit. Always got from second quit. Okay. Um, second quit. Now I need to set up my computer. Um, four year because the it is compounded quarterly. So uh, four year has how many quarter in second step? One year has four quarters. Four year has 16 quarters. So this time, n equal to 16, right? Here, in step two. Everyone clear? n equal to 16. Why? Because it is four years here. OK, four years. Um, and interest compounded quarterly. OK, so you need to set up py equal to 4 cy equal to 4. Okay. So second, uh, I heard a question before I, I'd rather to check the question. Okay. Uh, do I have questions? No, no question. Okay. Uh, so uh, second quit. Okay. And then I need to set up py equal to 4, cy equal to 4 for those four years. So second, PY, four, enter. And then use down arrow key here. CY is four, enter. Second, quit. Okay. Uh, so that is a PY equal to four, CY equal to four. I'd rather write down something here. Um, so in this step, step two, PY equal to four. CY equal to four. So I just did that on calculator. Okay. Uh, and then Let's enter the number. Four year has 16 quarters, 16 quarters. So I'm going to add 16, n, n equal to 16. Okay. Uh, and then I have interest 5.53, 5.53. .53. Okay. That is IY interest. Okay. And then PV, present value, <coughs> is this number here, 3590 dollar point 3785, 3785. So this is present value, okay, present value, present value. Um, 
and for compound interest, PMT is zero. For compound interest in mass turn of eight, okay. So zero is a PMT. See, I entered four numbers. I entered N sixteen. I entered IY five point five three. I entered PV three thousand five hundred ninety. I entered zero PMT. So now I want to calculate FV compute FV. So you get negative number. Never mind. You should enter present value as negative. Okay, that is the money you borrowed. Okay. So the final answer I in front of you four thousand four hundred seventy two dollar and forty eight cents. This is the answer here. See. This answer here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pause for a moment to see if you have any questions. I strongly suggest please try this on your calculator right now <laughs> to see if you can come up with this four thousand four hundred seventy-two dollar. And then ask questions. I give you a few moments to try now. Then ask questions. Then. I'm going to use a formula and Excel. For those some students, they hate calculator. They like Excel formula. So I will pause for a moment, then I'll move formula and Excel. Okay. By by the way, did anyone get this number on your calculator? Did anyone get this number? Thank you, service. Congratulations. Fantastic. Wow. You got to share your tips. <laughs> oh, by the way, on the blackboard, I have discussion board. Share any successful story, okay? Or ask questions there, your peer may have the answers. All right. Uh, so this question I did use calculator i didn't use any formula just calculator okay just calculator uh, now uh, i am going to use a second method so for second method i'm going to use a formula the formula is here see on the top i already prepared a formula here okay so we need to do step one what is the future value for the simple annuity? This is the formula. So this is the formula here. FV, step one, what is the future value after three years? You use this formula. So plug in PMT, 92. 92 is PMT. Uh, I is the monthly interest. So you have to, what is I? I equal to 5.47%, 5.47% divided by 12. When you use formula interest, you have to divide it by 12. When you add a, the interest on calculator, you directly enter 5.47. Okay, so R equal to 5.47% divided by 12. This is I. And also the formula has N. N equal to three years. Three years. Each year has 12 months. So N equal to 36. Three times 12. N equal to 36. Okay, so this is the formula. Uh, so how do I use this formula? I'll, oh, I will show you the uh, Excel. How do I use this formula? Okay. So I'm going to open up an Excel. You can use regular calculator based on this formula. Okay, you can do that. Uh, so try to to show both Excel and the question so that OK. 
And I'm going to do it here. I'm going to delete those numbers. And I'll try to make this font bigger so that you can see my typing. Okay. All right, so I'm going to use Excel to and formula. So Excel start with equal, equal. So PMT, PMT, oops, equal, 92 is PMT, okay? Oh, by the way, when you use formula, 92 is positive number, okay? So 92 times bracket, and then another bracket one plus i, i is 5.47% divided 12 bracket, closing bracket, raised to power, raised to power n, n is 36. We found a typo. Try to correct. Do you correct? No, I haven't finished the formula yet. The formula missing there. Okay. Um, so raised to power 36 minus one, closing bracket, then divided by i. i is 5.47% divided by 12. So this is the for this is based on the formula. Okay, so I press enter. Uh, I didn't get correct answer, I'll double check. Where did I go wrong, okay? Uh, so I'm going to double check. This is my formula, uh, 92, one plus I raised to power. Oh, uh, this I, I have to use a bracket. I have to use a bracket because it is denominator, okay? See, this time you got correct answer, 3,590. The first one I didn't because I missed the bracket for I. Okay, so I show you the formula again. Okay, so I heard some questions. I will check the message box. Thank you, David. <laughs> I tried to do it faster, but I got it wrong. I guess just practice. Service, you are correct. It's just practice. Okay, go slow. Okay, thank you, service. <laughs> All right. So I just did formula method, formula using Excel to facilitate uh, my calculation. But I just finished step one the future value of the three year annuity. Now I will do step two. What is this money after four years? After four years, what is this money? See my diagram here? This is our goal, our objective. Found future value after four years, another four years. So this time, uh, did you see, I used the formula for compound interest. Remember mass 10 OH? <coughs> future value equal to present value times one plus i raised to power n. Okay, I use this formula. What is present value? Present value 3590. Okay, uh, so I'm, uh, I heard questions. So I'm going to check the question. Okay. Uh, uh, David said, I think you put negative one along with uh, 36, uh, okay. Uh, Kylan said, are you going to do, yes, we are going to do those. First, right now, we just review what we did in last lecture, okay, Kylan? Be patient with me, okay? I know you are ahead with, uh, with us. <clears throat> uh, all right, so let's go back. Um, the... Now I'm going to do here, equal, use this formula, future value equal to PV. This is my PV. I save time to type in the number, PV times, times 
bracket one plus i. This time i is 5.53, 5.53%, .53 okay, divided by four, because it is compounded quarterly. Okay, see I have typo here. Um, I have type of here. One plus i, i is 5.53, not 5.4. 5.53% divided by 4. Okay, uh, compounded quarterly. So 1 plus i, and then raised to power n. n is, what is n? n is 16, because one year has four quarters. You have four years, four times four, 16. Okay. And now I got the correct answer 4,470. No, uh, something wrong here. Uh, one plus I. This time I didn't get a 4472. Yes, it is a correct answer because the answer has decimal. If you change this answer to, this is correct answer. If you change this percentage to decimal, I click format cells, format cells. Instead of percentage, I need number. Okay, I need uh, maybe just uh, two decimal places and click okay. See, I get correct answer. Okay, for step two, this is step two formula here. All right. Um, so, so far I haven't started new content. This is just a review, review uh, chapter 11, session two, session one and session two. Okay, I take this uh, 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 review. Uh, any questions? Um, shall we take a 10 minutes break, 10 minutes. After break, uh, I will start new content, Kaylin, okay? I will start new content. Uh, so I'm going to uh, stop recording. I'm going to, me also need a break, okay? So I encourage you to stretch. See, I'm at my backyard, okay? <laughs> so get some fresh air. So I'm going to stop recording. I'll come back at nine o'clock. Okay. Uh, stop recording.